Wanderers are Southampton under-18's final opponents of the 2014-15 campaign, as they look to end on a high. A somewhat unknown quantity, Bolton have won just once in the playoff stage so far. Saints could finish second with a win on Saturday, so goalkeeper Jake Hallett is focusing on doing his bit to earn all three points at Staplewood. Yeah, obviously, the boys have been working hard this week in training. We're looking for the win to get as high up in the table as we can as possible. Uh, it'd be good to get a win against Bolton. Obviously, they're going to be a strong side like every other team in the league. But yeah, we'll be looking for the win. Do you want to end the season on a high? Because we're on a good run at the moment, and it's a bit of a shame to end it now. But we want to end it on a high, obviously, because it will set the tone for next season and pre-season. Obviously, we want to start off strong, strongly and quick, and hopefully, we'll do well next season as well. But. Yeah, we haven't played them for a couple of seasons uh, at 18s or 16s level, so it'll be interesting to um, to see what they're like. And um, it's a good thing, as we've said in the past about these playoff games, that you get to play the different sorts of teams. So it'll be interesting to see um, what they come with. Um, we've got a bit of match footage of them, which we'll watch and prepare as normal, and and look forward to finishing the season strong. We've had a nice little sort of run of performances and and uh, results in this playoff stage. So we're looking forward to yeah, really, really, really putting in a good performance for the weekend. As you mentioned, that the results have picked up in the playoff stages. It's, it's been, I think, a win on Saturday would make it four wins from seven. That, that's a, it's a good return for the end of the season. Yeah, it is, and I think that's linked to the performances as well. So we've been performing better. We, had, we didn't have the best start against Fulham in the playoffs, but then ever since then we've had some really good performances. Even the the, the games where we haven't won against Blackburn and, and Stoke, we've still performed quite well. So that's been a positive. Um, the other thing as well is that we've been able to play a lot of the under-16s in the team, which has been a real positive, who have already got scholarships, looking forward to next season. So I think when they come into the team, they're nice and hungry and um, want to impress to try and looking forward to next season. So that's been a positive for them too. Top spot is just out of reach, but as said, a second place finish is in their sights. Whilst coach Anthony Limbrick is determined to see out the season in style, he's also looking ahead to next season and has praised the under-16s players that have made their mark in recent weeks. Well, yeah, we had a, a we had a, a, a tough a tough back four, you could say, of players who hadn't had a lot of experience playing together, so they did really well. Um, ben Cole, Ben Rothorn were, were 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 really good at the back, which was positive for them, having never really played together at centre back, and also Connor Langan did quite well in in the back four too. So. Yeah, it was positive for those players to get that opportunity and put on such a good defensive display against a always talented and quick and pacey and direct Arsenal team. So, yeah, we were happy with them. On, on Monday night, the under-21s played against Manchester United. Alfie Jones and Marcus Barnes made yeah. the first start to that level. That must have been nice to see as, as their coach at the early teams. Yeah, it was. Yeah, they've, they've been working hard as well as Ollie Cook, who started as well in, in his second or third start for the under-21s. So there's two first years with Alfie Jones and Ollie Cook making... Uh, an appearance for the 21s there so yeah it is pleasing and you want to see them be tested and, and, and get through and play as many games with the 21s as you can and that's the idea we want to push the best players on and, and challenge them and hopefully develop them and push them into the first team. And a lot, a lot of the younger lads have come into the side in recent games and, and you beat Arsenal last week and it was a fantastic result it's good to see the, the younger lads getting that experience and also performing at this level. Yeah. I think they did very well last week Ben Rothorn and Ben Cole obviously are playing in a centre-back position like they both don't play there but they both play in different positions and obviously they're on the under-16 side and they'll be with us next season so it's good to give them experience and I thought they both did brilliant. Obviously Anthony wanted me last week to get onto the back of the back four and keep them high and keep talking to them obviously because they're young so yeah I thought I had like quite a lot of authority last week but I thought I dealt with it quite well. I thought I did well within the game and I thought the back four did well, I thought the whole team did well to be honest. Look.